Jordan Scuba Diver here with Deep South Divers. Today I'm working on one of my dry suits. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to change a SciTech QCS oval cuff that you see right here to a uh, waterproof Ultima dry glove ring system. This right here is a SciTech QCS oval that you see on it. It's called an oval because of the way that it's shaped here at the end. And I've got a latex, uh, a latex cuff or latex wrist seal installed in that oval and I'm going to change this out today for uh, for the ring system instead. And I'll show you how I do it, which is probably a little bit different than most people do it. If you look real close here, uh, you'll see that there's like a there's like an indentation on this oval. And what I do is I take my, my fingers and I just pop it out. Right like that. Okay? It comes right out. Now in this case, the, the latex seal has been taped. The manufacturer actually used electrical tape to tape the latex directly to the oval ring. Okay, you can. That's an option if you want to use that. It kind of works for latex. It's not really necessary on the silicone, and I'll show you exactly why. But there you go. That's a that's a, a ring being popped out right there. What you're left with is you're left with this. You're left with a soft ring that is glued directly to the suit. And uh, that can be round, it can be oval. Uh, in this case, the, the uh, waterproof Ultima dry glove ring system is going to be round, so it's gonna change that a little bit. Um, just, for, uh, just for kicks, let me go ahead and show you how this reinstalls. So this would go right in just like this. Pop them in dry even, so you just take your fingers and, and situate them just like that, and on they go. It literally just pops in and out. Now you can see why they would tape them to make sure that they don't move. And that's a that's a watertight seal right there. So here, I'll pop them out one more time. And there you go. All right, next what I'll do is I'll just take a, a wet rag and I've just, uh, I've just wet this down with water and I'll just kind of wipe out the, uh, the, the soft rings. This suit has been dived with those, um, with those uh, latex seals in place and so lots of times there's salt or, or uh, sand or whatever uh, in these rings and uh, so I just like to wipe them out. Okay so the parts that you're going to need out of the kit, out of the waterproof Ultima kit is the uh, suit side hard ring that you see right here and uh, you're going to need your silicone wrist seal, uh, your new silicone wrist seal and also your uh, the cosmetic rings that come with the waterproof Ultima dry glove ring system. You'll notice that on the on the silicone wrist seal there's a shiny side and there's a dull side. And there's a lip on the shiny side but not on the dull side. And so that lip is what we're going to use when we put it in the ring. Okay? So it goes just like this. That's from the inside out. And then what you'll do is you'll take that that lip with the ring and put it over your hard ring like so. And what you want to do is you want to match up the lip to the um, to the very frontmost part of the insulation here. All right. So once you have um, put the silicone seal on and that lip is down into the into the, the grooves and, and by the way there's there's two grooves you could put it in you could put it in the first groove or the one closest to the outside of the suit which is this way right and I like to put mine uh, as, as far out as I possibly can okay I, I like to do that because I feel like it's I, I'm, I'm more guaranteed a, a better seal that way so there's two places you can put it I like to put it on the outside it's totally up to you on which whichever way you, you want to do it so there's your wrist seal, right? And I am ready just to, just to pop this in, just like this, okay? Except I'm not gonna do that on this. And the reason is because I don't like to have wrist seals, okay? And with the, uh, with the um, uh, dry glove system that I have, there's no need to have a wrist seal. Um, they're really that great. Uh, the, you know, this, this ring system is really that great. So what I'll do is I'll take a Sharpie here, and with my Sharpie, I'll trace 
all the way around, right in here. And this is gonna give me a, a ring, uh, 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 or a, a mark on this, on this, uh, on the seal, where to cut. Okay, and I realize I'm using black, but uh, it actually is a different color black, so it is actually fairly easy to see. So I want to dive this, what I call sealless, even though it's not technically sealless, it's just, uh, it's just the seal is, is cut all the way back. So now I can remove this seal. And you see here, I've got a ring. This is exactly where I need to cut. Now this isn't a real exact measurement. It doesn't need to be. Um, I just wanna make sure that it's not overhanging because if it is, then when you go and put your, your pan through there, it'll, it'll drag on that, uh, on, that, on that seal. Actually, it'll drag on the seal, I guess, on this side. But um, I don't want to drag. I don't want to drag on the seal, and I don't want it to be so small that uh, it ends up not sealing in here. So, like I said, it's not an exact measurement, but uh, that'll work. So next, I'm going to take a good pair of uh, sharp scissors and go ahead and make that uh, make that cut. Okay, so I've taken the seal off and I've cut it. This is what my seal looks like now. You recognize the, the lip on the shiny side and uh, what's left of my marks on, on the dull side. Okay, and so I take the ring and again, I'm not gonna put it in the center groove. I'm gonna put it on the very end groove. So it goes on right like this. And then I usually just take my fingers and kinda put it in place just like this. All right, when all is said and done and you're finished working it with your fingers, you, know, you sort of put it on there and then just kind of work it with your, with your fingers here and, and sort of get it jammed up against that very first lip. Um, anyway, that's what it looks like right there. So there's a seal, but there's no seal for my wrist. So then what I'll do is I'll take a little bit of lubricant. In this case, I'm using, um, <clears throat> I'm using crystal lube. Um, but uh, any, any silicone sealant will work as, as well. Um, so I just put a little bit of, a little bit all the way around like this. Um, this isn't important to get the suit to seal. Um, the silicone will take care of that. All I'm looking to do is just to get one side of this, of this, uh, of this uh, seal, of the silicone seal to slide rather than the other side. So I'm gonna make one side a little slipperier than the other. So you just kinda of wanna make it shiny. All right, so that's what it looks like right there. Nice and shiny. I'm just gonna kinda of wipe my finger off on a paper towel right here. And we're gonna install it. Doesn't matter which direction it goes because it's round. It's a little different than it used to be. And I'm gonna go ahead and just very carefully push it into place. And you see it slides right in there without the seal moving because <clears throat> because the the area between the seal and the, the suit ring, the suit's soft side ring, is slippery. So in it goes. And I'm just going to kind of watch very carefully and make sure that that seal doesn't move. And it does not move. There we go. So now we've got the hard uh, glove side ring into the suit. All right, so that's it. Now I'm just gonna take a cosmetic ring right here, and the cosmetic ring actually goes, um, actually goes this way. So here we are on the ring. You see that there is, that it's, that it's not perfectly flat. It's got a taper to it. So you've got a wide side and you've got a narrow side, right? Wide side and narrow side. And the wide side faces the gloves, the narrow side faces the rest of the suit. So this goes on just like so. And you just kind of uh, move around with your fingers. And there you go. Okay, so that's all done. 
And I want to make sure that my mating surface right here is nice and clean and that my o-ring is nice and clean. And I keep them pretty clean, so not really an issue. But this just snaps right on. Just like that. And that is 100% sealed. I want to take them off. It's actually easier to take them off when you're wearing a suit. They pop right off. They won't pop off normally. Right? If you pull on it or whatever, it's, it won't pop off. But if you sort of grab and, and twist out that way, they pop right off. So there you go. That's how you install the waterproof Ultima Dry Glove System. Sealless. If you have any more questions, give me a shout. I'm CJ at DeepSouthDivers.org and uh, look forward to talking to you.